As students of prophecy, we can look around and see it is time to fearlessly go forth to declare unto all that Jesus Christ our Lord is returning. All we see happening in nature confirms his soon arrival, and the Pope knows this via his satanic agencies helping him to try and cover it all up. I mean, have you seen some of the videos out there regarding all this? The dying God of Rome is moving with all the power he can muster to push all sorts of confusion into the world to prevent the people from realizing what's actually happening on earth right before our eyes. All that we see is in fact the final signs before the mark is enforced and the plagues begin. Just as the mountain shook when the Lord descended upon it eons ago to present the law carved in stone onto the people, the entire planet is now convulsing because the return of Christ is nearing to take home those that have that very same law written upon the fleshly tables of their hearts now. I'm also convinced that because the presence of God charred the top of Mount Sinai when he descended upon it, the Pope and his cronies have been moved by their confused minds to assume the closer Jesus gets to returning, the planet's going to warm up. But as usual, he is only right to a point because Satan cannot allow absolute truth to be uttered. The fact is, the planet will most assuredly heat up during plague number four. And it is then he can use the global warming live today to gather the wicked in their final stance against the people of God. Check out this video I did back in November of 2017 regarding all this. As Satan moves ahead on his agenda, he knows that many are waking up to the truth as it is written, and they know the prophecies are true. They really know this now. And so the fact the people of God often try to warn those that they love, Jesus is coming soon, and they realize they're also being ignored, all this also confirms the plagues are soon to come. It also makes it easier for them to understand why they keep having all these dreams about tornadoes and no one's listening to them about the danger headed their way. I mean, this is what we see when we're wide awake, when sharing our faith to spiritually blinded people. I mean, seriously, check out what tornadoes mean in prophecy. Next to no one cares how violent the world becomes in nature or even how violent the hearts of men become because... The wolves on the pulpits refuse to preach the end is nigh. And so their long prophesied message of peace and safety has lulled billions to sleep just as we expected. And so how does this all apply to climate change or the global warming lies of Rome that literally tens of thousands of real scientists have exposed as bad science, proving the Vatican's 100 scientists are on the payroll? The Pope and his followers are being moved by Satan to push the idea that the natural disasters are all due to mankind harming nature and we can somehow fix it. And this is besides the fact that we all know that the water we drink today is the exact same water that Adam and Eve drank 6,000 years ago, proving the Lord created the planet to regenerate and even recycle waste, just as he created all the animals, the birds, the insects, fish, and even human beings to do. Satan knows this. And he also knows all these calamities were prophesied by Christ as the harbinger to his return. Even the prophet has spoke of the animals, the birds, the fish, and the insects dying right before Jesus returns. It was also prophesied that the earthquakes would increase. And historic record confirms we now have more earthquakes per week than we have had during the last 6,000 years just prior to the end time starting in 1844. And I, you know, I can go on and on and on about this, but my point is clear. And it's pretty simple. The natural disasters, the wars and rumors of wars, the legalization of homosexuality, the love of many waxing cold, the suicides, and even violence becoming the norm in everything from sports to movies, all of this is now part of society. The Bible says all these things that are happening right now are because Jesus is coming a lot sooner than most realize, and so Satan has beefed up his attack to get ready for that day. And the Pope and his pawns don't want anyone to know that and so to cover up the fact that the Bible predicted all of what's happening in nature, society, and even in politics right before the plagues come, the enemy of souls moves his subjects in the Vatican to invent global warming, to calm the masses regarding Christ's second coming and their unreadiness to that end. In fact, not too long ago, the Pope of Rome declared in writing that the end is not yet nigh to calm the people down just as prophecy predicted he would do. And the only ones that will fall for the lies of peace and safety, as per the many false prophets on the pulpits, are those that refuse to study their Bibles. 
or even accept Jesus Christ as their true Lord, King, and Savior. Well, as prophesied, all the world wanders after the beast in Rome and his watered-down version of Jesus. Their lack of faith, which cultivates their deep-seated fear as Satan planned, moves them to gladly accept the fake Jesus that will soon stand before them. This fake Jesus will have the qualities all the false pastors said their version of Jesus will have when he appears on earth in the coming days. And literally billions will worship him and receive his mark just as the real Jesus of the Bible prophesied they would. Thank you for watching. God bless.